the health of soil water vegetation and ecosystem services of the country are severely impacted by various forms of degradation witnessed in both rain fed and irrigated areas due to this about 96 million hectares is severely affected by erosion salinity has become a serious problem in the command and arid areas deficiency of nutrients is widespread groundwater has become critical and declining productivity observed in majority of the crops the situation is aggravated further by climate change which has emerged as the main driver of land degradation realizing the gravity of the situation various schemes have been taken with huge budgetary allocations even with all these interventions there is no perceptible improvement at the field level this is due to mismatch between the plans executed and the requirements thanks to the world bank supported sujala 3 project the importance of site specific information pertaining to the nature and extent of variability in soil water availability topography land use etc in developing farm specific interventions have been demonstrated in about 14 lakh hectares in karnataka this was achieved through land resource inventory and hydrological investigations at cadastral level by using high resolution imagery cadastral maps and state of art mapping techniques generating thematic maps and developing digital library lri portal mobile applications decision support system and advisories the sujala approach has brought in a paradigm shift in watershed management and helped the state to take up site specific soil and water conservation selection of suitable crops based on their suitability nutrient management as per the crop requirement water harvesting as per excess runoff and allocation of water based on present and future demands appreciating the impact of sujala 3 on watershed management and to upscale the best practices to other states rejuvenating watersheds for agricultural resilience through innovative development program known as reward is taken up in karnataka and odisha with the support of the world bank reward promotes a life cycle approach to watershed management to demonstrate the importance of lri and hydrology thematic maps and dss in planning interventions and the role of portal in the automated preparation of dpr this has reduced the watershed cycle to 3 to 4 years from 7 years earlier further the availability of all spatial and non spatial database thematic outputs and expert systems on a single unified platform like the lri portal facilitate the development of one area one plan at the watershed or village level in the country this is expected to form the future template for convergence of all programs by line departments at the watershed or village level the outcome of the reward and establishment of center of excellence on watersheds and to come up with appropriate protocols for science based watershed management in the country under pmksy